Hello, Elon Yoga Club. My name is Shane uh, Saribi. I'm a senior here at Elon. I am a group exercise instructor and I also am a registered yoga teacher. I teach off campus and at a studio called Misfits. We're currently doing um, live yoga flows on their Facebook page. So um, if that sounds cool to you, you should check that out. Um, today we're going to be doing a power flow. I hope you can enjoy this power flow, take it as a way to fuel yourself with some positive, upbeat, lively energy during this quarantine. I know it can be super hard to stay moving and to keep yourself on a schedule and feel strong and empowered in a time when a lot is being taken out of our control. So um, that's the focus and the theme behind today's practice. Um, I have a super fun, upbeat playlist, so allow yourself to have fun. Um, don't take yourself too seriously and don't do anything that's not feeling good in your body. Feel free to take this practice and really make it your own, especially if you're practicing from home. Um, this is really a beautiful time to develop your own personal practice and really start to understand what feels right in your body and um, what your body's asking for. So yeah, uh, feel free to stop, grab water, take a rest or restorative pose at any time. Um, you can always come down onto your knees in Chaturanga and you can always completely take out your Chaturanga and just find down dog. So just a few things to remember to um, really make this practice enjoyable and something that you feel really good about at the end. Hopefully my phone and camera here does not slip like it is currently doing during this practice. Um, okay, so we're going to start today in child's pose. So you can find your mat um, bringing your ankles together and legs can be together spread towards the far edges of your mat, crawling your hands um, towards the top edge of your mat, beginning to draw the chest down. Let's turn some music on. Maybe sending those hands towards the very top edges of your mat, forehead dropping down to the floor. Begin to bring your awareness to your body, maybe closing the eyes. While you're doing this body scan, you're breathing in through the nose, sighing out through the mouth. Big, loud sighs. Letting go that stale energy, anything weighing on you, anything not serving you. Beginning to send that away with each exhale. Maybe closing the eyes, tapping into any sensations you're feeling right now. Relaxing the shoulders down away from your ears. Relaxing the forehead and the jaw. Opening up the hips. Beginning to, beginning to release tension there. Take two more breaths like this, filling up as much as you can in through the nose and then sighing it out through the mouth. Last one. Exhaling it all the way out. Begin to inhale and exhale through the nose. Crawl your hands towards the right side of your mat, maybe even off the edge of the mat, bringing the left hand to stack over the right. Letting the head drop down onto the mat, taking a side body stretch. Begin to engage your ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, sending your breath towards the back of your throat, creating a slight constriction that will make an audible breath that sounds a bit like the ocean waves crashing. Use this breath to begin to fire up the belly, warm up the body, really draw your focus in onto your practice. Take two more breaths on this side. And then inhale, crawl the hands through center, 
On an exhale, crawl them towards the left side, maybe leaving the left side of the mat, bringing that right hand to stack over the left, stretching out the other side of the body. Really feeling yourself get nice and long on an inhale, taking up space. Stretching out, releasing tension on the exhale. Maybe taking this time to set an intention for your practice. It can be a word, a phrase, a feeling, something that will bring intention to your movement. It can be strength, energy, power, your breath. Take two more breaths on this side. Inhale and crawl yourself, your arms back through center. On an exhale, come up into your tabletop. Shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze for cow. On an exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, drop the head for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Begin to flow through your cat cow at your own breath. Taking any extra movements in the hips, shoulders, or wrists that you need. Allowing yourself to move fluidly. Maybe closing the eyes, really tapping into the sensations you're feeling. Finding a way to wiggle out any tension. Taking two more breaths through that cat-cow. Come back into your neutral tabletop. Turn your hands so that your fingers are facing your body. Option to also tuck the toes here if you wanna get a nice uh, stretch in the toes and ankles. Gently begin to sink your hips back towards your heels. Maybe letting the wrists peel slightly off the mat. Stretching out the wrist. Stretching out the toes. Maybe adding a little rock. Or finding stillness here. Take two more breaths. And then come back into that tabletop. And shake out the wrist. Inhale, send your right arm towards the wall or space in front of you. Extend your left leg behind you. Exhale, round the spine, crunch the elbow towards the knee, engage the core. Inhale, extend and lengthen. Exhale, crunch in. Take three more on this side at your own pace. Connecting your breath to that motion. Feeling yourself get long on an inhale, firing up the belly on an exhale. You can take five on the other side then. Remembering to breathe. Feeling how strong your core is and how long your body is. Coming back into your tabletop after you've taken five on both sides. Tuck the toes if they aren't already tucked. Inhale into your cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. On an exhale, begin to come into your cat pose. This time, hover the knees two or three inches off the ground. Engage the core. Inhale, drop the knees, find your cow. Two more of those, exhale. Round the spine, engage the core, hover the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Last one, exhale, round and hover. This time, begin to send the heels towards the mat. Let your tailbone follow. Come into your first downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out your feet. Let your shoulders melt away from your ears. Send your chest Forge your legs. Take a couple more breaths here. Inhale, roll forward on the toes. Find a high plank. Shoulders stack over wrists. From here, we're taking our hip dip. So we're gonna drop the right hip down as far as we can to the right side of the mat, back up through center, and then over to the left. Gripping through your fingertips, engaging the core. 
We have five more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Come back into that high plank. Take a big breath in through the nose. As you exhale, lower as slowly as you can to the floor. Core is engaged. On an inhale, find your baby back bend. Come into Cobra Pose. Exhale, roll back down. Send your hands right outside of the long edges of your mat. Tense up your hands on your fingertips. Keeping the arms bent, inhale, Cobra. Open up the chest a little wider. Exhale, roll down. We're gonna do one more of those options to, option to extend the arms long this time or keep them bent. Inhale, peel off. Maybe arms extend long, getting a deeper bend. And as you exhale, slowly roll back down. Keeping your arms in a T on the ground by your sides, begin to bend the right um, foot in towards your bottom and then peel off the mat, sending the right foot over towards the left. Option to extend the left arm long here. Maybe finding a clasp behind the lower back or you can keep the right arm in a cactus on the ground, just opening up the left shoulder for a shoulder roll. Take two more breaths on this side. And then slowly begin to roll back through center. Sending that right arm long into a T, bringing the left arm into your cactus. Draw the left foot in towards your lower back, peel open, send the left foot towards the right side. Open up the right shoulder, maybe find that clasp, or you can stay right here. Take four more breaths on this side. And then begin to roll back through center, bringing the hands back towards your armpits, preparing for upward facing dog. Inhale, arms extend long, maybe shins and the quads, leave the mat, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, send your gaze to your hands, exhale, tiptoe the feet, up to meet your hands, forward fold. Option to bring those hands to opposite elbows for ragdoll, maybe swaying side to side. Option to just let the wrists melt down towards the floor, taking a nice bend in the knees, letting gravity release tension in the lower back, maybe exhaling out through the mouth. Find extended mountain pose, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain pose, spine is long, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold forward, half sun A. Two more here. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, dive down, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Maybe the gaze goes to the sky. You find an arch in the back. Exhale, fold forward. Moving into our sun A. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop the feet back. Chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have three more here. Option to take these at your own pace or to move with me. Inhale, bend the knees, step or hop halfway, lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. That's my bad, I don't know why I just did that. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
breath, exhale, step or hop. Make your way to downward facing dog. Connect your breath to the motion. Inhale, bend the knees, step and hop or hop, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, two more. Inhale, extend in mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop. Maybe try taking that one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Last one. Inhale, step or hop. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Feel the fire in your belly. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow to downward facing dog. Breathing in all that fresh energy, feeling how strong you are, physically and mentally. Inhale, bend the knees, step or hop, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend in mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Sit down in your seat, weight is in the heels. Toes can be together, hip width distance apart. Shoulders roll back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg into the air. And then bend that foot towards your lower back. Begin to draw circles with the knee. Like there's a paintbrush on the end of your knee. And you're drawing circles. They can be big or small. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise. Just really opening up the hips. Option to flip your dog here by sending that right leg over towards the left. Taking that back bend. Letting the head fall back, maybe the jaw drops open. Begin to find your way back to that three-legged dog on the right side. On an exhale, plant the foot down between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Hips are melted towards the front of the room. Equal weight between your legs. Exhale, hands come down. Right foot steps back to meet the left, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the left leg into the air. Begin to take those circles on the other side. Clockwise, maybe wiggling out the ankle as well. And then counterclockwise. Flipping your dog. Engaging the glutes if you do so. Protecting the lower back. And then coming back into that three-legged dog on the left side. Exhale, plant the left foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. 95 degree bend in the front leg. Shoulders are rolled back. Exhale, hands come down. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome job. Inhale, the right leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Find a low lunge. Untuck the left toes, drop the left knee. Inhale, peel open to the left. Send the left hand towards the sky. Option to reach for that back foot here. Or to stay right where you are. Sending your breath towards those tense areas. Remembering how powerful your breath is and how strong you are. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat. Let the hips square back towards the front of the room. Begin to sink your hips back towards the left heel, letting the right toes roll off the ground. Half splits. Hands can come to the floor or blocks. And if full splits are in your practice, you can take those here as well. 
You can also just flow back and forth between that low lunge and those half splits. Thinking about drawing the chest down towards the right leg. And slowly begin to make your way back into that low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms out wide. Draw the chest open. When your hands come down to your side, tuck the left toes. Begin to find a high lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms and lift. Come high on those left toes. Exhale, cactus the arms again. Inhale, find warrior one. Back foot drops down to a 90 degree angle. Option to find a clasp behind the lower back here. On an exhale, fold forward. Drawing that right shoulder on the inside of the right leg. Humble warrior. If you don't take the clasp, you can drop the hands down. Trying to draw that right shoulder in and under. Remembering to breathe, drawing that breath back if it's wandered off. <laughs> Inhale, come back into your warrior one. On an exhale, find that high lunge again. Turn onto the balls of the feet. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands through heart center, twist right. Hook the left elbow over the right knee. Gaze falls over the right shoulder, up to the arm. Awesome job, two more breaths here. On that second exhale, drop your hands down on the inside of the right foot. You can heel toe the right foot out towards the edge of the mat. Option to keep the left knee lifted for your lizard pose, or you can drop the knee down, untuck the toes. Staying here, maybe gently pressing the leg open, letting the foot roll onto the short edge. Or you can come all the way down into the forearms, really opening up the hips. Allowing your breaths to be big and powerful. Inhaling energy, exhaling tension, exhaling doubts. Slowly begin to find that low lunge. Heel towing the right foot back in, right hand comes on the outside of the right foot. And then go ahead and step the right foot back to meet the left. You can take knees down or lifted chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome job. Inhale, the left leg into the air. Exhale, find that low lunge on the other side. Inhale, peel open to the right. Hand comes to the sky. Maybe reaching for that back foot. Breathing here. Focusing on what's in your control. that right hand down to the floor, taking your half or full splits on the other side. Maybe flowing through that lunge and half split, waking up the hamstring. Drawing the chest towards the leg, hips are square. Two more breaths here. Come back into your low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up over your head. Exhale, cactus the arms. Let them draw all the way down to your sides. Begin to tuck the right toes, lifting the knee on an inhale, high lunge, arms sweep up. Exhale, cactus again. Drawing the arms all the way down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, humble warrior. Either taking that clasp or letting the arms drop down to blocks or a mat. Really feeling that stretch in the hammies and the hips. Two more breaths here. Inhale, warrior.
warrior one. Exhale, find your high lunge. Turn onto the balls of the right feet. Big breath in. Exhale, hands through heart center. Twist left, hook the right elbow over the left knee. Gaze comes over the left shoulder. Maybe the arms come open. Maybe you find that half bind behind the back. Woo. I'm flowing. Beginning to prepare for your lizard on the other side. Planting the hands down on the inside of the left foot. Heel towing the foot out to the long edge of the mat. You can keep the leg lifted or you can drop that right knee down. Maybe peeling open. Maybe coming down onto the blocks or your forearms. Awesome job. Still finding a way to connect your breath to a movement even in stillness. Opening up even farther with every exhale. Begin to find your way back into your low lunge or your high lunge. Stepping the left foot back to meet the right, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, send your gaze to your hands. Step or hop, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Take a big breath in, open the chest. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, chair pose, drop down. Exhale, lift off. Flowing through this for 10 more seconds at your own pace. Connecting your breath to the motion. For four. One, find your chair pose on an exhale. Bring your hands through heart center, twist right. Hug the left elbow over the right knee. Draw the belly button in towards the back of the spine. Maybe open the arms. Maybe taking your side crow here. Awesome job. Inhale, hands come through center, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, awesome job. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Draw the belly button in. Take a big breath in on an exhale. Begin to slide that left foot back and forward. Taking skaters on this side. Bend in the right leg for four, three, two, one, and send that right foot back right away. You can bring the hands to heart center. You can bring the hands back. We've got four more seconds. Three, two, one, chair pose, hands come up. Exhale, twist left, hands through heart center. Maybe staying here. Maybe opening those arms or taking your side crow. Maybe finding that bind. Reaching the left hand for the right hip crease. Awesome, awesome job. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Take your peace sign fingers to your big toes. Find that clasp and fold. Let the elbows come out towards the sides. Draw the chest towards the legs. Maybe taking a wider stance. A bend in the knees. Allow yourself to breathe big. Big, powerful breaths. Take two more breaths just like this. Release the clasp. Inhale, take a halfway lift. On an exhale, you have the option to take your crow pose. You can place a block beneath your forehead or under your feet. Or if you're feeling good, you can fly into that crow. Maybe shooting the 
legs back from here into your chaturanga. Wherever you are, allowing yourself the freedom, the space to try something new, to experiment, to find out how strong you really are. Begin to make your way to downward facing dog. Lift the right leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, windmill open, warrior two. Keep that bend. Equal weight between the legs. Inhale, send the right hand forward as far as you can. Flip the palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand goes up and over, keeping the bend in the front leg. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Forearm can drop to leg or down towards the right ankle. Getting ready for half moon. If you want to place the block out in front of your toes, you can do that. Taking a big inhale, bend in the right leg on an exhale, kick off the left foot, open to the left. Half moon. Hips are opening. Engaging all the way through the toes of the right foot. On an exhale, begin to find warrior two, uh, warrior two very slowly, dropping that left foot down, windmilling the arms up, and then preparing for your goddess pose. Sending the toes out to the side as far as you can, letting the knees follow. Legs are long. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, drop down into your goddess pose. Hands can be at heart center, out by your sides. Tailbones drawing down. Option to come up onto the balls of the feet. We're doing pulses here for five, four, three, two, one. Feet come back down, inhale, legs extend. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, turn the toes towards the long edge of your mat. Hinge and fold, wide-legged forward fold. Option to take your headstand here. You can find stillness, you can stretch to one side and the other. But again, give yourself a moment to experiment. Maybe find a wall and practice the headstand. If you're doing this from home, you have all the time to really allow yourself to be creative, to move past the pose to add anything that feels good to you. Coming back into that wide-legged forward fold. Hands are down on the mat in front of you. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Crawl the hands back to the top edge of your mat. Turn the toes, let the hips square down, and then step the right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, plant down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, drawing the left fingers forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Being sure not to just drop weight onto that left leg, but staying strong in your core. coming back into it. Begin to find your warrior two. Preparing for goddess pose on the other side. I'm just gonna face the camera so I'm not speaking away from you. Legs are extended long. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, squat down. Maybe the toes are lifted, core is engaged. We're pulsing here for five, four, One, inhale, legs extend, arms shoot up. Exhale, find that wide leg and forward fold. Checking in, can you still hear your breath? 
Are you utilizing the power of your breath to move you through this workout? To connect the mind to the body? Feeling energized by this beautiful breath and how strong you are? Take two more breaths in your headstand or your fold. Come back into that wide-legged halfway lift. Take an inhale. Crawl the hands to the top of the mat. Make your way to your downward facing dog. Taking your chaturanga or just sending the hips back. However you want to get there. Inhale the right leg into the air. On an exhale, draw the knee towards your right elbow. Engage the core. Inhale, extend the leg long. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Twist and squeeze. Inhale, leg long. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, engage the core, and then drop that foot down. Inhale, come up into your high lunge. Hands can stay lifted at heart center on your hips. We're taking our split lunge pulses, lowering and lifting that left knee. Core is engaged. Right knee is falling, the right toes for five, four, One, take a deep bend in the right leg. Exhale, kick off the left foot, warrior three. Gripping all the way through the toes. Begin to bend the left foot so the bottom of your foot's facing the sky. And then pulse the foot up. Engaging the glutes for four. Hands can come to blocks. Three, two, one. Extend the leg long. On an inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, squat down. Drop the left knee to the right. Inhale, lengthen two more. Exhale, squat and drop. Inhale, lengthen, last one. And then drop the hands to blocks or mat. Kick the left foot towards the sky. Standing splits. Let the hips fall open. Draw the chest towards the leg. On an exhale, drop the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow your way to downward facing dog. Whew. Inhale, the left leg into the air. Exhale, draw the left knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, the knee towards the right elbow, twist and engage. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, engage the core, shoulders stacked over wrist. Drop the foot down, come up on an inhale into that high lunge. Hands can come wherever you'd like. Begin to take those split lunges. Maybe coming onto the balls of the left foot as well. For five, four, three, two, one, kicking right off into that warrior three. I'm on a downward slope, it's honestly. Let's see. There we go. Draw the right heel in towards your bottom. Bottom of the foot is facing the sky. Kick the foot up. Engage the glutes. For five, four, three, two, one, extend the right leg long. Take a breath in. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, two more. Last one. Woo. Drop the hands down. Kick the right foot to the sky. Standing splits. This time, slowly bring the right leg down to the floor. And then on an inhale, peel all the way up to standing. Ground down through the left foot. Let's see. I'm gonna tilt the camera up slightly. Stay, please. Okay. Woo. Inhale, draw the right foot off the ground so you have that 95 degree bend in the leg. Take a breath in. As you exhale, 
begin to sweep the leg back, coming into your warrior three, and then you're drawing it back up. You're taking three on both sides, engaging the core, and then shaking out that left ankle really good. Rolling it out before switching sides. Grounding down through your right foot, engaging, drawing the belly button in, lifting that left foot off the ground, sweeping back, warrior three. For an added challenge, you can keep the leg extended long the whole time. Taking three on this side as well. Using your breath, connecting your focus to the motion, to find balance. After you take three on that side, rolling out the right ankle. A little more balance here. Inhale, you have a couple options. You can take your starting at tree pose, right foot at your ankle. You can come up to your calf, all the way up to your thigh. Or if you want a little more, you can draw that right foot over the left leg for your half locus. And if you come all the way up to here, um, if you take tree, you can play around with arm movements. And if you come up here, you have a couple options as well. You can try bringing your hands through heart center, hinge forward, maybe take a fold. And if you want even more, you can try coming into that headstand, taking a bend in the left leg, coming, bringing the head down into your hands, legs come up and from here you have the option to take your full loaded. So wherever you are today, realize for a moment how strong you are, how incredible, how capable you are and meet yourself where you are right now. Try something new. Do not label falling as a failure. Take a couple more moments, whichever variation you're taking. And then slowly begin to come out. Bringing the right foot back down, wiggling out the left foot, and then taking the same on either side. So some things you can do with tree, Bringing the arms up, practicing them out. You can take eagle arms by drawing that left hand under the right. Maybe finding a clasp with the fingers. Or you can just play around with waving your branches. Maybe take a back bend, shift your gaze. And take a few more moments here on this side. Begin to make your way back into mountain pose. At the top of your mat. Fix my camera again. Okay. Inhale, sweep the arms up, extend in mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the feet back, come into a high plank. Inhale, sweep the right foot two or three inches off the ground. On an exhale, chaturanga, lower as slowly as you can. Then come all the way down to the floor. Inhale, you can take a cobra. On an exhale, begin to tuck the toes. You're pressing right back up into your high plank. Out through the mouth. Inhale, the left foot a few inches off the ground. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, do not touch the ground. Press yourself right back up into your high plank like a push-up. Both feet can drop on the ground. Last one, inhale through the nose. Exhale, lower slowly as you can to the floor. You can let your cheek rest on the mat. Bring your hands down to your side. Palms facing the floor. Preparing for your locust pose, you have a couple options. 
you can um, keep your hands palm down by your side or you can find that clasp in your hands behind the lower back by rolling the shoulders back. Either variation is totally cool. Preparing for that now. Sip the feet and legs together. Inhale, lift the arms and legs and chest off the floor. Engage the core and glutes. Lift a little higher. Exhale, lower to the floor. Whew. My phone battery is dying quick. It's okay, we are almost done here. We're gonna do that one more time. This time you have the option to take your bow pose by bending the ankles towards your lower back, grabbing the feet or ankles with the hands, and then drawing the chest and legs up and open. Inhale, lift into your locust or bow. If you take your bow, you're exhaling out through the mouth, creating a rock on the belly. Massaging out the belly. Two more breaths wherever you are, you've got this. On that second exhale, you can slowly lower, bringing the other cheek to the mat, windshield wipe out the legs, side to side. When you're ready, begin to make your way onto your back. Just go ahead and roll over. Preparing for bridge. Placing your feet on the mat so that your knees are pointed towards the ceiling. Heels are underneath of the knees. Laying back on the spine. Hands can be down by your side or up over your head. Either option's fine. Inhale, lift the hips. Oh, sorry. If you have a block and you want to put it between your uh, legs for an added challenge, you can do that. I don't know where my blocks are, so I'm going to roll without them. Inhale, send the hips to the sky. Engage the core, engage the glutes. Begin to come up onto the balls of the feet, lift a little higher. And then take your calf raises, lowering and lifting through the heels, keeping those hips high. For four, three, two, one, lower all the way down. Draw the bottom of your feet together. Let the hips fall open for your bound angle pose. We're doing the same thing. Inhale, come into your bridge. You have two options here. You can pulse the hips where they are, or you can lower and lift. I like to lower and lift from the pelvis, so I'm gonna take those. Really feeling the hips draw open as you lift for five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna do um, one more time. You have the option to take any variation of bridge you'd like or you can take your full wheel pose. Tucking your hands by your shoulders and lifting. So go ahead and do that now for five breaths once you get into your pose. If you take this wheel, you're engaging the glutes, drawing the chest towards the wall or space that you're facing. Again, taking five powerful breaths, being, an in, being intentional with your breath. Knowing that you have control over the energy you take in and what you do with it. Allowing it to be something positive. Exhaling anything no longer serving you. Slowly coming down after those five breaths, hugging the knees back into the chest, rocking side to side on the spine. Option to take happy baby here as well. By drawing the legs out, finding that clasp on the feet or toes. Take three more breaths there. And then go ahead and extend your legs long towards the ceiling, still lying on your back. You can tuck the hands slightly beneath your bottom or you can keep them out by your side or even behind your head. Legs are engaged, quads and glutes are turned in. 
toes are pointed. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the feet three inches. Then lower them three more. Three more. Bring your feet to hover. Engage. Then bring the hands out by your sides, hovering off the ground. Pulls from the hands. Lift the chest. Shoulders are still down and away from the ears. Four, three, two, one. Draw the knees in towards your chest. Begin to rock forward and back until you can come up into your boat pose. Finding balance on those sit bones. Shins are parallel to the ground. This is uneven ground, but I'm gonna work with it. You have the option to stay right here in your boat, chest open, shoulders down. If you want a little more, you can bring the hands behind your neck and begin to take your bicycles, alternating the legs, adding a twist, drawing elbows to opposite knees. Moving as slowly or as quickly as you'd like, connecting your breath to the motion. You are so much stronger than you think. You've got this. Three, two, one. You can drop the legs down, sending them long in front of you, still grounding down through the sit bones. On an inhale, sit up tall through the spine. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward and fold. Bring your hands to your shins, feet, or blocks. The goal is to draw that chest towards your legs, not to touch the toes. You can bend the legs, drawing them to your chest too. Maybe taking a little lift on an inhale, crawling a little deeper on an exhale. Take five more breaths here. Begin to slow down the breath, the heart rate, the mind. Tap back into those sensations in the body. Maybe closing the eyes, bringing your awareness to this moment. After those five breaths, you can go ahead and begin to separate the legs for your wide-legged forward fold. And if full pancake is in your practice and you can draw that chest all the way down to the floor, you can do that as well. You can bring your chest to a pillow or blocks or you can come down onto your forearms like this. If you want a little more, you can take those peace sign fingers out to your toes, drawing the chest down towards the ground, bringing the chin or forehead to rest on the mat. And once you find stillness there, go ahead and take your five breaths, allowing them to be as long and as full as you need them to be, maybe exhaling out through the mouth, Making this time about you, taking any extra motions, any extra breaths that you need, staying in any pose that's feeling extra yummy to you right now. Begin to slowly come out of that wide-legged forward fold, drawing the legs back together. Inhale and draw the right foot in towards the left thigh, letting the knee fall open for seated tree. Sweep the arms up, and as you exhale, hinge forward over that left leg. Really thinking about hinging at the hips, drawing that belly down towards your leg. You have the option to stay here, or if you'd like to take a side stretch, you can drop the left forearm down on the inside of the left shin, and then sweep the right arm up and over your side body. If you have a lot of space there, you can try bringing that right hand down to your toes. If you do so, just make sure to keep the shoulder rolled open. Don't let the chest curl in down towards the floor. Taking five breaths if you took that side stretch or if you stayed where you are, still staying there as well. Feeling your breath move through your body. Seeing how it calms the body, how you have control over that breath, over the way energy moves. 
things about you. It's really so beautiful to me. Slowly begin to come out of that forward fold or that side stretch. Send the right arm behind your lower back. Inhale, sweep the left arm and the hips up and over. Come into your gate pose. Head can fall back, jaw can drop open. Glutes are still engaged. And slowly begin to come back down into your seat. Switching the legs. Inhale, the arms up on an exhale, hinge forward. Come into that stretch. And then you can go ahead and take that side stretch on the other side if that felt good in your body. Feeling yourself lengthen and reach on an inhale and then dropping lower into the stretch with an exhale. Sending the t your body open with that right forearm not letting the shoulder, the left shoulder collapse in. Begin to come out of that side stretch or forward fold, dropping the left hand down behind your seat. Inhale, the right arm up, let the hips follow. Right arm falls back, head falls back, neck is relaxed. Find your seat, preparing for our last couple of poses here. Roll down onto your back, keeping the feet stacked on the ground so knees are pointed towards the ceiling. Hook the right foot over the left knee for figure four. Hips are open. You can stay here or draw that left foot off the ground, maybe finding a clasp around your quad or shins. Gently drawing the legs in towards your chest. If you lifted that foot, go ahead and roll out the ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. Get out any pops and cracks. Remember to breathe. And then go ahead and switch legs. Maybe rocking gently on the spine. Sinking deeper. Gently drawing the legs closer with every exhale. Knowing that your body is capable of so much more than we know. Slowly begin to draw both legs in a hug. Then go ahead and extend the left leg down on the mat long, just hugging that right leg in. Begin to come into your supine twist, draw the right knee over across the left side of the mat, letting the hips square, sending the gaze towards the right, arms can come out into a T. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bend the right foot towards your lower back, grabbing it, your foot or ankle with the right hand, making sure that left shoulder is still melted down onto, onto the mat. Draw the belly button in on an inhale, create more space for that side body twist on an exhale. Maybe the knee comes to a block or pillow. Really slowing down your breath here. Turning those crashing waves you created in the beginning of practice to still water, quieting the breath. 
calming the mind as well as the body. Go ahead and slowly begin to um, twist on the other side, drawing that right leg through center, and then switching legs, hugging the left leg in towards your chest and drawing that left knee over towards the right, stacking the hips, maybe sending the gaze to the left, keeping the shoulders melted down. Knowing that there's strength in the middle of a power flow and during Shavasana, appreciating the different elements of every aspect of yoga and how they all take power, control of the mind and body and how that is always within you. Slowly begin to come out of that side body twist. Sending both legs down long on your mat, coming into a total body stretch. Find a clasp in the hands, flip the palms away from your body, bring them up over your head to lay on the ground. Feel yourself get nice and long with every inhale. Feel your breath move through your body. Relax your shoulders and your face. Release any tension you're holding in your hips or your feet or ankles. Begin to quiet the mind. Draw your focus to your breath. Creating an even inhale and exhale. Appreciating the beauty and the power of your breath. How it helps you move through life on and off the mat. And how the control we we practice and the control we gain over our breath during our practice allows us to have control over our life off the mat. Begin to find stillness, preparing for your final pose. Allow yourself to get nice and comfy. Maybe if you did your practice by your bed, you can even climb into bed. Letting yourself fully surrender to the ground beneath you, however you can best do that giving yourself a moment to really get nice and comfy. Maybe your palms are face up towards the sky, taking in all that good energy you created around you in the past hour. Maybe your palms are face down, allowing yourself to be connected to this moment, feeling grounded in your breath and your practice. You can bring one hand to your belly and the other to your chest connecting your body to your breath, feeling it move through your body. And when you find that stillness, make sure you're releasing any tension you're holding on to in the space between your eyes, in the jaw, shoulders, whatever it may be, let it go. Allow your thoughts to float across your mind the way clouds float through the sky. Letting them come and go without stopping to give them attention, judgment, whatever it is. Just keeping the focus on the breath. Allowing yourself to simply be without doing. Honestly, in my opinion, the hardest pose of all. Shavasana. Shavasana will only be a couple of minutes, so if you'd like to have a longer one, you can shut me off now, otherwise you can stay and we'll have a few moments here.
gently begin to bring your awareness back to this moment. Creating small movements in the fingers, toes, ankles, and wrists. Fluttering the eyes or maybe leaving them closed. Rolling the shoulders, rolling out the jaw. Beginning to move the legs and arms. And when you're ready, making your way onto your favorite side, allowing your head to rest in your arms. If you've taken a super comfy Shavasana, supported, and you don't wanna roll onto your side, you can stay right where you are. Wherever you are today, allowing yourself to hold on to that beautiful breath you've created for you, just for you a little bit longer. Take a moment to envision three things that you are grateful for right now. They can be about yourself, they can be about anything else. But take a moment to envision those three things. And after you've done that, list as many reasons as you can as to why you appreciate them, why you're grateful for that thing, for you, for whatever it is. Go ahead and take a moment to do that now. And with an exhale, allow that thought to go. And then take a moment to envision one thing that is no longer serving you. Maybe that hasn't been for a while now. Maybe something that's just come up with this whole new situation. Allow yourself to really envision that in your head. Take five big breaths with that in your head. Taking your exhales out through your mouth, letting it go with each one listing the reasons why you're letting that go, why you deserve to let it go, and why you deserve to take a step towards a better version of you, surrounded by positive, loving, uplifting people, places, and things. Go ahead and do that now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And when you're ready, you can begin to come up into a seated position. If you like, maybe staying right where you are. Bring our hands to heart center if you're here with me. Thank you, Elon Yoga Club, for allowing me the chance to share yoga with you. Um, I've been so appreciative of any way I can still teach and move myself and still feel connected to others during this time. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, all comments, questions, feedback are so much appreciated. The light and love and teacher in me, I truly do believe that we teach each other an equal amount. And constantly when I step on a mat and um, teach others, I'm really taking an inward reflection as well. And I think it's really beautiful and such a reminder to myself to, to look inwards just as often as I, as I offer that to others. So the light and love and teacher in me honors and respects and values the light and love and teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste.